All right, well, last week, Crush the Curve Idaho, the nonprofit with Dr. Tommy Alquist as the front man, announced in addition to offering COVID-19 testing to anyone who wants it, they would also be offering antibody testing to anyone who wants to pay for it. That's the test to determine if you ever had coronavirus and your body happened to build up immunities or antibodies, I should say, to fight it. Not immunities, but antibodies to fight it off. At about the same time, Dr. David Pate, who was on the state coronavirus working group, took to Twitter to warn Idahoans, as you can see here, that a positive antibody test likely false. Well, that Twitter feud hit its stride Friday night with Dr. Alquist questioning whether Dr. Pate's comments were genuine. Dr. Pate saying he wasn't trying to make this personal, and then Dr. Alquist asking, well, then why is this escalating over Twitter? Well, so we reached out to both of them today to ask about this antibody testing and why we should or shouldn't be putting stock into it. But first, we're going to get over to Joe Paris because it's supposed to be a perfect test, the one that Tommy Alquist, Dr. Tommy Alquist, is purporting. But what is that perfect test supposed to tell us? To understand that, Joe Paris asked about or asked another expert about the value of doing some antibody testing. Yeah, Brian, we've gotten a lot of questions about antibody testing. So today I spoke with Dr. Ken Cornell. Ken is a doctor, uh, excuse me, he's a PhD at Boise State. He studies biochemistry. And one of his areas of research is looking at antibiotics. So he's very familiar with everything going on right now. Today we talked about antibody testing, what it is and what it's valuable for. Here's what Dr. Cornell has to say about it. In the case of coronavirus, what is antibody testing useful for? Uh, the antibody testing for coronavirus is going to be most valuable is in looking at how much of the population was actually exposed. A patient who doesn't show clinical signs of disease, they may have circulating antibodies that would tell you that they were exposed. And why is that information useful? How does that help? That can tell you then, um, as a population, um, how many people got exposed versus how many people came down with clinical disease. The antibody test is not going to uh, help you one day after you've been exposed to the virus. It's going to take um, several weeks for you to mount a significant amount of antibody response um, for it to be detectable. But there was a concern that um, maybe um, that the, there would be false positives on the antibody tests. There's a handful of different coronaviruses circulating. Uh, that they might cross-react, and um, that turns out uh, it, it, that doesn't look like that's the case. Well, a lot has also been made about the sensitivity of the test. Some are 96% accurate, some are 99.9% .9 accurate. Is there a threshold that should be met to using these tests? Is 96% as good as 99% in this case, or is that like a world apart? Uh, no, those are not a world apart. From my perspective, both of those are pretty similar and, and actually remarkably good considering that we're going after something that we've only known about for a few months. Something's better than nothing in terms of percentage-wise? Oh, certainly. Um, but understand, too, what the purpose of this antibody test is going to be. What is the most useful part about these antibody tests? Um, Who has been exposed in the population as a whole? And then you can compare that to rates of who actually came down with um, clinical symptoms. If we see that we have a very large uh, number of the population that has a positive antibody response, that means that they mounted enough of an immune response that they will have these circulating antibodies around. Um, that we have a large population that actually has antibodies, then we can be more secure that we're past the worst of the pandemic. question is how long these kind of tests take. And Brian, to when we talk about the antibody testing, another question has been about, yeah, how long does it take for, uh, for the results to come through? They come through very quickly. Um, they can take a matter of minutes. Dr. Cornell telling me they really shouldn't take longer than a matter of hours. Sometimes, you know, they do get backed up. There could be a backlog. But the test itself, Brian, very quick. 